Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. This is volume two of What Was Uncle Thinking? If you miss volume one, I encourage you to go back and watch volume one because you will not be disappointed. But we are going to continue here in volume two under the assumption that you watch part one. All right, so in this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at a stack of books in front of me. And this stack of books represents, to some degree or another, my attempt to complete a couple of runs and to fill some gaps in some books. There's also a couple of random books in here uh, that I picked up because I thought they were cool. And I would definitely encourage you to watch until the end of this particular video because there is a big book at the end that you will not want to miss, all right? So let's get into this thing and we're gonna start off with the human fly. And I don't know why I got the human fly, but I've seen this title several times and I just had to pick it up. This is number one of the, uh, the human fly. This is a newsstand version. I've never read it before, but I am gonna read it and we will see uh, how this thing turns out. All right, next up, we are jumping into The Web of Spider-Man. And this is, again, these are books that I have already that are in really rough shape, or they're books that are actually filling gaps in my run of Web of Spider-Man. And this was a, a, a title back in the day when I was a high schooler that I really enjoy reading, and I'm trying to fill those gaps for nostalgic reasons, let's put it that way. So the first one is Web of Spider-Man number five, this one I already have, but it is severely damaged. Um, so now I have a really nice copy of, of number five. We have a next up number eight, and that is an awesome cover. Just an awesome cover. You guys know I'm a sucker for Spider-Man's black costume, so we, we picked up that one to fill a gap. We also have number 33, another really cool web of Spider-Man cover. We have uh, number 37, just gorgeous black and red cover. This thing is just awesome. We have a part, uh, part five of Craven the Last Hunt. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man 294. This was one of the ones that I was missing from my uh, Craven the Hunter story arc. We also picked up Daredevil number 168. Gorgeous cover with Electra there on the front cover. It's another Fantastic Four, number 12. This is an awesome uh, story arc that I'm actually gonna be featuring soon in uh, one of my videos, A Random Run, I think I'm gonna feature it in. This is a uh, series that was done by uh, Jim Lee. When he returned to Marvel from DC briefly, he actually did the Fantastic Four. It was a 12 part story arc that he did. And I had every single issue except for number 12, and now I have it, so that's awesome. Uh, stick, st sticking with the theme of Fantastic Four, this is Fantastic Four versus the X-Men, number one, because I am a sucker for X-Men, and I have the other parts of this series but was missing number one, so now I have that. Now, as I promised, there is a big book that I'm about to show you. This is an awesome book. This is the best grade book of this type I have seen before, and it, it is just simply gorgeous. So it is The Man Without Fear, Daredevil himself, number one. This thing is just awesome. It really is. It is in gorgeous, gorgeous shape, and I am so pleased to have this book as part of my collection. I am going to send this gorgeous thing off to be graded along with some other books. I think I still have uh, Spider-Man number one back there and a couple of other uh, uh, awesome books that I'll send off to CGC to have graded, hopefully sometime soon, but definitely pumped to have this book in the collection. I told you, I told you you would not be disappointed if you waited until the end. As always, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as I mentioned, there are more books to be seen as part of What Was Uncle Thinking, Volume 2. Stay tuned.
man, they won't even notice one of these books is missing. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this for myself or get trivia night. Let's go about my wall.